Here at the single storey extension we've been building, the clients have opted for bifold doors out onto their rear garden. It's an origin product and it's supplied and fitted by JC Glass. The first thing the fitters do once they're on site is to measure and check the aperture of the door opening to double check it matches the dimensions of the door that's been produced. We provided the measurements before the build was complete, but a safer way of doing this is to build the aperture and the flooring and then measure the dimensions of the hole and contact your supplier. Some suppliers, such as Origin, can build and supply doors in as little as 24 hours. They'll remove any weatherboards and framework to ensure the aperture is fully accessible. They'll make sure the damp course is firmly attached to the block work. Using spirit levels and a series of plastic wedges, they'll build up the bottom of the aperture to ensure the base of the door is completely level, taking measurements across the entire width of the opening. They double check the measurements of the width of the aperture and cut the threshold track to size and attach the end stops. The threshold track is fitted in place on top of the wedges. The outer frame is constructed, leaving the fixtures loose so that adjustments can be made once the frame is located in the opening. The fitters then fit the frame into place. If it's a tight fit, rubber mallets are used to tap the frame into position with care being taken not to damage or mark the frame. They'll adjust one vertical pillar first, positioning it so that it's perfectly upright. Pilot screw holes are created at the top of the frame with a metal guard used to ensure the brickwork isn't damaged unnecessarily. Using the correct size drill bit, a larger, more permanent hole is created in the door frame and through into the brickwork where the frame can be secured. Any gaps are wedged to ensure the pillar remains completely vertical and firmly in place as the fixing screws are inserted. The process is then repeated on the opposite pillar. Pillars are then secured at the bottom in the same way, with care being taken to always ensure the frame is completely perpendicular. Once the frame is secured, the door frames are introduced starting at the furthest end from the master opening door. The doors are slid onto their hinges and attached securely. Fitters will then introduce the glass panes to the door frames. These particular panes are triple glaze and have an internal blind system. The glass panes are mounted on the door frame one by one and are pushed into position where they sit tightly. Beading is introduced around the pane, which secures the glass in place, snapping on and forming a tight lock.
Once the beading is in place, rubber trim is then inserted into the space between the glass and the beading, and this forms a waterproof, weatherproof, soundproof seal around the glass and also acts as a shock absorber. This is trimmed off to give a nice, neat finish. Once the doors are installed completely, the final elements of plastering can now be finished, covering over any exposed brickwork and giving a neat join around the window frame. You may also like to think about raising the level of the ground outside to give you a level threshold which helps the transition between indoors and outdoors become more fluid. Mm -hmm.